we are. There we are again, David. There we are again. The magic of television has brought us together again. In Bladenburg. Bladenburg. In Bladenburg. Yeah, the look at beautiful out. Bridgers building, David. Y'all see this brick behind the sky? We're in downtown Bladenburg, North Carolina, but only by... The magic of television. Magic of television. That's right. Grandma's exactly buffet we're, with David and yeah, who? We're, we're actually in what we're doing Grandma's buffet with David and Greg. I knew you'd get it. I I'll get, get it, it in a minute. Guys, here today we've got you some stuff that is not going to break the bank. Everything here is good price, good merchandise. We've got a little bit of Harley Davidson stuff today. We've That's got right. some Coca Cola stuff. We've got, we've got. Our first show here, we're going to go ahead and get started because we got a little deal on some Harley Davidson. That's right. Well, Davidson some Americana. Exactly. That's what we've got going on. Way long time. And guys, this is the anniversary pin that was Year of the Hog. It's the 2003 anniversary pin. I would say it's probably, what would you say? Is it brass maybe? I think it is, time? David. Yeah, yep. probably brass, guys. But you know what this is for. This is something to pin on your jacket, your riding coat, whatever you want to put it on. That's right. Your lapel um, anywhere, yeah, David. Be good, be good on your suit when you go to church on Sunday. Let them know you got hogs in the parking lot. That's right. Well, Dave, let me give old Ethan, Ethan a there. shot give there. Ethan. We've got some great camera sure got it here, the right guys, way. We're going to give them an opportunity to work a little bit. He's zooming in on it right now. Look at there. And I've got it the right way this time, He's David, He's doing a too. great job. 2003, yeah. you can actually see the little pin on the back. That right there, David, item number what? 3920? 3920, and like I said, not going to break the bank today, guys. This is only $12.95, shipped to you free. Well, David, $12.95, that's everybody's budget. I mean, yeah. if you were trying to get for that real hard-to-get person, that would definitely be a good little item. are still available in the Harley shops anymore because that was a, you know, the pin was actually made in 2003. That's a nice little item. 2003, 12.95, David. There we go. Give us a call, 1-844-641-PON-DAVID. You can also go That's on right. pondsouth.com later on. <laughs> and by the All way, kind of ways to shop. if you see the text box on uh, Click on Pond, it. What, which one is it that Kenny's on? Pond South. Mm -hmm. If you go to the bottom, there's a text box down there. You We've can got the boss man today. The, the phone the operators and the text guy is back there, and he is Kenny Barnes. He's That's the right. owner of our company, That's guys. Right. The and he's going he's gonna to be the one side. answering your text and answering your phone today. So give him a call. If you see something you want, That's offer him a price. He might take it. Well, I'm glad David mentioned that, guys. <clears throat> if you see some of these items, we want you to call in. We want people to make an offer on it. They're right. not edged in stone. And, David, most of this stuff, I understand, we can ship this free, too, David. Yeah, it's free shipping, and some of it, the price of it is probably as much as it's going to cost us David, to ship it today. This, this, everybody can afford today's little show. Let me get a quick shot of this and describe it a little bit. It's Got a, a belt buckle? It's a Harley-Davidson belt buckle, guys. A spoke wheel. Looks to be a pewter look. Uh, not real shiny. Antique looking. You know, it's back... Manufactured in 1996, so this was probably a wheel old. off of, yeah, off of one of the bikes during that era. But you want to get a good shot yeah, of it there. A good one there, guys. Talking about the Harley Davidson stuff, all y'all know the story about Harley Davidson that are motorcycle bus. Look at there. For those of you that don't, I think Greg, it was 1901. A That's guy right. Named William Harley. Mr. William Harley. Drew a blueprint for a motorized bicycle. That's right. And David, he wasn't but 21 years he old then. He wasn't but 21 then. And then, after he got that blueprint approved, he went on. And in 1903, he met up with Mr. Davidson. I think his name was Arthur Davidson. That's right. That's, that's where right. Harley Davidson comes that's from, right. David. That's me and you can figure from. that out. I, yeah. <laughs> I figured that out when I read their names. But anyway, guys, it was... It was the first public motorcycle to ever be, you know, put on production, and it was produced during that time as a uh, a motorcycle, so to speak. But they called it a public bike. Yeah, and it started with a bicycle, David. Uh, mm -hmm. Like I said, with Mr. Harley, and the first dealer, David, I see was a Mr. Uh, Charles Lane. Charles Lane. About was, 1904. I was getting ready to say probably right along in the same time from right. 1904. A little brief but history anyway, there on guys, it. The Harley Davidson is here to stay. Uh, year of the Hog 2003. Yeah. And pendant and the belt buckle is the Harley Davidson spoke. And let's get this last Harley item, and then I'm going to tell you about the deal. That's right. The deal. There you go. Some playing cards. Yeah. All right. 
get a shot of that. And Check we'll give those out. Give a shot, and I'll actually take them out. They're still in the wrap, too, David. That's the 95th anniversary set, guys. It was from 1998. Um, it's a two-set playing cards and a nice Harley-Davidson tin. Yeah. You might want to show the top of the tin there. It's an embossed that motorcycle is, let's on the tin. Let's get a good shot of that. I'll put it right in front of it. But the, item number... Thirty-nine, twenty-eight, Dave, seven ninety-five. So everybody's budget. That is definitely somebody calling there. They're One eight four four six four one pawn. So that is a good deal. Seven ninety-five, David. And still in the wrapper, as you see there. I mean, they've never been opened. Some people are superstitious when they're playing cards, but David, these have not been opened. Nope. Still in the pack, ready to go, guys. Nineteen ninety-eight. Seven ninety five. Mm -hmm. So David, everybody's budget. Right. Tell them about that now deal. Now let's talk big, about the deal, boy. guys. We've got three. Harley Davidson collectibles here. We've got the cards, we've got the belt buckle and the pin. If you'll call right now, right now, and talk to Mr. Kenny, make him a package deal on all three of these guys. Sell them all, Dave. He's wanting to sell them all. Call him and make him an offer. Well, he's in a good mood. I talked That's to him right, right before we went on there. Make Six, him a deal, guys. We can't stress four, that enough. 641 pawn and uh, he'll be the one answering that phone for you right now, guys. And, and make him an offer on these three items. And I guarantee you probably, if nothing else, you'll be amused. Oh, yeah. Well, David, we are actually, these are pawn brokers. This is our boss you're going to talk to today. Yeah. Not an operator, David. Might be the person that bought some of this stuff. But you can actually get the story behind the story. But, guys, call them right now. one 844 pawn Go on our website. We can sell these items later, David. If they don't sell today, that's if. That's right. What else we got? Move a little on knife? to the next one. Getting out of the Harley Davidson stuff. Here's something for our firefighters. That's right. If you're a firefighter or know someone that is or happen to uh, be married to a firefighter, let me tell you, here's a great Father's Day gift for a firefighter. Yes, it would. Well, Dave, me and you both were in the fire department. That is, that would be a nice gift for the hard to get right. guy and or it lady. Does, it does come in a nice tin. Get a good shot of there. I'll get there. ready to get you a shot of this on camera number two. I know Ethan's ready to give us a good shot. He does America's such good. America's bravest, ever ready, ever willing, and that's the truth, guys. These guys, especially yeah, in our local towns here where we got volunteers, these guys do a lot of work and service in the community for nothing. That's right. And yeah. their kind of work that they do actually affects people's lives. So please respect the guys that do this. And for those of you that do, this will be a nice gift for you to put in your uh collection of firefighter memorabilia. A lot of people collect that. Well, David, nice item. 39 dollars So again, in everybody's budget, but Dave, just some nice items. If you've got that hard to get lady or guy with the fire department, fifteen ninety five is in nice everybody's right. budget. Okay, guys. Nice we got, item. We'll go on to the last item we got here in, Already? in the first show. Yeah, we, this is just the first show, Gray. We got some more stuff back there. That's right. Grandma's buffet. Everybody with David probably knows again. what this is, but they are hard to find these days, guys. And this one is actually in excellent, excellent condition. It is uh, at that, David. It was made in Charleston, South Carolina in 1981. That's probably one of the last years they actually had the little six-pack bottles. That's right. But that's what we'll go in here, guys, a six-pack of cold colas. They made the small ones and the big ones back then. Right. Well, David, it's actually a nice wooden item. I mean, it's got little hinges on mm -hmm. it, little nails. It ain't too you old, You could use this for nice. about anything, guys. It could well, some people use them as shelves. I'm glad you did that, David. You yeah. can put your whatnots on there, but you can use it as a shelf. Just different things. we it's got to find condition. homes for this stuff, David. That's what the boss Let's man said. Can I get a close-up of yeah. this one, too? Let's right there. show them around the edges what... This one is not hurt, guys. It's in good shape. This one's ready for you to hang on the uh, mm -hmm. hang Look on the there. wall as a shelf, or it would actually be something good to put some flowers or something in. You could put the little flower pots in it. Multi uses, David. That's right. There's the Coca Cola right there. Now, David, I saw when we were looking up a little bit of the history, this was actually supposed to be a medicine. Did I say That's that? That's what right? it was. It was first sold as medicine. Um, I think it was probably in. What was it? Eight, the early 18, I mean the late 1800s, early 1900s, 1886. 1886 is when we were thinking, David. That's right. By Mr. John Pemberton, mostly mm -hmm. be a medicine, David. So it was actually a big That's accident. Right. We want, I wonder where the cocoa came from. He was using, he was using cocoa beans. The beans. And That's something right. Something else. Yeah. 
Well, David, that's a good item. We run out of time too quick every time. I know it, David. But we'll be right back with Sound Shopping. Sound Shopping's coming for you guys, and we'll be back in about 10 minutes. Thank you.